When I say Fall Creek Falls Lake is beautiful, I'm not kidding, especially in autumn when the trees show their color. It's 345 acres of fishing paradise reflecting the natural wonder of one of our most visited state parks. Wow, what a glorious day in a beautiful place. This is a great fishing destination, home of two state records, one for bluegill and the other for channel catfish. It's a chilly, windy day, a challenge for any angler, but I'm happy to be out in my kayak fishing with park naturalist John Morris and Jane Polanski, Tennessee Scenic Rivers Administrator, who's trying to hook a catfish. Oh, you did not again, dead gimmick. I'm sitting here thinking I had a really nice hit. The fall foliage at Fall Creek Falls is incredible. I saw yellows, and reds, and oranges, and greens, and colors you just don't see anyplace else. It's just absolutely gorgeous up here on the plateau. Going into ninja stealth mode, because this water's ultra clear. As for me, it's a rock bottom. There ought to be some fish on this. I'm usually a topwater guy targeting banks, visible cover, and points this time of the year but some colder air temperatures have settled in, moving me to transition water, places sloping into deeper areas. Bass and crappie are, they will react in cold water, but you know, as the water gets below 60, and definitely when it gets to 50, they start to shut down a little bit. Now they fed heavily in between, but we're on a full moon, and uh, that water temperature's probably tickling 55, 56 degrees. They still ought to be eaten. Ought to be are the operative words. The key is to know what they do and where they go when the water temperature drops. The big thing about this time of the year is the bait schooled up, you know, work several different lures, all of them that fit the water columns. So you want to bump the bottom, fish mid depth, and it's probably past the top water bite, but you could be up in the top column of water the first couple, two, three feet, I guess, especially if it's a, an area that's got a long point and shallow rock in it. I'm switching between a jig and an AC shiner with decent success, but John likes something different. I always go to soft plastics this time of year because the fish are not moving as fast. Uh, this is just a little pumpkin seed, five inch lizard. And I caught two fish today. Nice. If you're looking for big fish, you start throwing some bigger baits. I mean, they still got to eat and so they don't move as much. And if you can put it right on them and make it look alive, they're going to eat it. It's easy to get lured into a pattern of beating the bank, but that doesn't work as well when the water gets cold and the food sources abandon the shoreline. See how the bank changes down there though? That's the kind of stuff I like. That's gonna signify some change in the depth. It turns into a steep rock bluff bank. And before it's just regular dirt. So if the law of gravity is still working correctly, when that rock breaks, it falls down and tumbles in front of that. Rock is a great hiding place for crawfish. Crawfish is a bass favorite food. Using the bank as a guide, I work my way across a rocky point pitching a jig. And most people will go out and fish the point over. We're going to fish the point going across it so you can go through three feet, six feet, eight feet, ten feet, and check several depths from one location. Oh, there's one. There we go. Pretty in that clear water. He had a good appetite. That jig's supposed to simulate a crawfish. That's what they like to eat, and they're stocking up on groceries for the winter. That's a pretty slick fish. Fall Creek Falls Lake is home to six species of fish, including some of my favorites, bass, crappie, and bluegill. Kayaking and fishing out here at Fall Creek Falls is just incredible. If you don't like kayak, you want to get into a canoe, that's a great opportunity. And a lot of folks here will rent the cabins, rent a boat for the week, use it at your leisure. With an inn located right on the water, along with some newly renovated cabins, trails around the lake and throughout the park, not to mention some spectacular waterfalls close by, there's plenty to see and do whether you're fishing or not. Of course, I'm going to be fishing. Come on, Bass, say ah. I'm Joey Monteleone on the wild side. <laughs>